and we're underway. And both wrestlers tie up off of the opening whistle. Joseph in on a front headlock on the right side. Marinelli fights out of that. Now Marinelli working in with double underhooks. Looking for an outside trip. He gets in on Joseph, but Joseph gets the hips away. And both wrestlers back at it here. Marinelli with a sleeve over his left knee. And they go ear to ear near the center of the mat. Joseph pushing in here on the head of Marinelli. Joseph's father, Victor, here. He is following Vincenzo and watching all of his matches in person this season. Joseph and Marinelli. Again, this is a great one. Joseph works off of a front headlock, tries to get in on that left leg, can't get there. Trying to turn the corner there, and Marinelli stays square. They're ear to ear, over under tie up. One minute into the opening period, the Hawkeye fans clapping rhythmically, trying to encourage Alex Marinelli to get the initial takedown here at 165. Penn State leads the stool meet 11 10. Penn State with an 8 5 advantage in takedowns. This is shaping up to be a great one here at Carver Hawkeye Arena tonight. Hawkeyes in their black singlets, Penn State in their navy blue singlets with the white horizontal stripe, Penn State in black lettering on the front, Nittany Lionhead logo on the back, and white trim. Iowa with gold trim and the four letters I-O-W-A in gold black lettering on the left thigh of the singlets. Marinelli trying to shoot in on that right leg. Can't get there. Joseph pulling in here on the head. Boy, this has been a battle. They are really working here, trying to set up the initial takedown. One minute remaining in a scoreless first period thus far. Joseph tries to lower his level. Can't find an opening here. Marinelli staying in very good position. Both wrestlers working ear to ear, and Marinelli shoots in on that left leg, and he can't get there as Joseph quickly straightens him up. Marinelli now working in on a possible body lock. Trying to throw in under the arms here. Joseph locking in over the elbows here. Marinelli trying a little foot sweep. Joseph still battling here. Both wrestlers looking for a throw. And Marinelli locks in again here on the body lock as he comes in under the arms. Joseph over the left shoulder now of Marinelli. Looking like he wants to step in. Marinelli still driving in here. Joseph stepping in, Marinelli trying to force him off the edge. Joseph won't go anywhere. And they continue to battle here with five seconds left in the period. Ear to ear now they go. The first period ends in a wildly entertaining three minutes of scoreless wrestling here at 165. Marinelli chooses bottom to begin period two. Marinelli is set. Joseph up under the right arm. Locked in on the right side. Here is Joseph. Marinelli turns in and has the escape. It's a 1-0 lead for the Hawkeye Redshirt Jr. here. And now he locks in under the arms and nearly got in on that body lock again. Joseph with a good front headlock now in on the right side. Trying to set up a shot of his own. Joseph trying to work Marinelli down, stopping down on that head. Marinelli now gets the head free, 125 left to wrestle here in period two. Again, they lock up ear to ear near the center of the mat. Joseph driving in a bit, 115 remaining. Marinelli takes a couple steps back. Now Marinelli drives forward and Joseph backs up. Now Joseph back in on the attack. Both wrestlers circling to their left. You know, this is every bit the bout we thought it would be. Two great wrestlers going at it here with one minute remaining in period two. And again, Marinelli trying to get into that body lock position. And now Joseph counters. He throws Marinelli to his back. He has Marinelli caught. Marinelli trying to roll through. Joseph gets six big points. Now he's trying to get the pin. Joseph looking for the fall here in the center, and Marinelli rolls through. Vincenzo Joseph takes a 6 1 lead. What a move by Joseph. You just had the feeling somebody was going to get a big throw, and it ends up being Joseph striking here in period two. 
We get blood on the face here of Marinelli stopping the action with just under 38 seconds left. In period two, Vincenzo Joseph leads it 6-1. Well, it just, you felt somebody was going to get a big six-pointer here at some point. And what a throw by Vincenzo Joseph. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marinelli, and it is a qual Joseph sets up on the right elbow. Joseph leading 6-1. Working up under the arms here is Joseph. Joseph over 30 seconds of riding time advantage. Under 30 seconds left now in period two. Joseph with an effective ride out on the right side as he hooks that right leg of Marinelli. Good spiral ride, and Joseph now trying to work on that far wrist, and he has the left wrist of Marinelli pulled in under his chin, and really working Marinelli over here out on the right side is Joseph with under 10 seconds left. Joseph looking for a cradle. Marinelli barrels out of there and he locks up with Joseph. Two seconds left. He throws. Joseph goes back. Joseph rolls through. Period ends. No points. Just the escape for Alex Marinelli. Yep, Joseph had both uh, overhooks, and that would stop before the move could be completed. Marinelli wants him to challenge. Iowa coaches are talking it over. Lead for Joseph, regardless of what anybody thinks, as we start the third period, and Joseph chooses bottom. Leading 6-3. Riding time advantage under a minute now for Joseph as Marinelli works out on the right side. Marinelli up under the right arm. Spiral ride here as Joseph works to a four-point stance. Now Marinelli reaches across and grabs the far wrist of Joseph. And Marinelli maintaining control. Here comes Joseph to his feet, turns in and gets the escape. Vincenzo Joseph now leads it 7-3, 130 remaining in the third. Joseph pulls in here, and Marinelli with a duck under attempt tries to shoot it on the right leg now. And again he shoots in. Joseph now... Tying up under the right arm of Marinelli. Both wrestlers ear to ear, 115 remaining. Marinelli in under the right arm. Trying to work in here on Joseph. Joseph starts to circle slightly to his left. Iowa fans all over Joseph right now. Wanting a stall call from referee Matt Sorchinski, and they get it. Stall warning against Joseph. That's the first warning. Marinelli working up under the arms here of Joseph. In under the right arm. And Marinelli looking like he wants to throw Joseph. He's in deep. Joseph fights out of it with 48 seconds left here in the third. Down to 45 seconds left. 7-3. Joseph with the lead. Marinelli and Joseph tying up here ear to ear. Joseph tied up on the right wrist. They break apart. 35 seconds left. Again, they go ear to ear. Joseph trying to fend off another underhook attempt here by Marinelli in on the right side. Here comes Marinelli trying to get in with double underhooks. 25 seconds left. Iowa fans booing. They want another stall call here against Joseph. Joseph tied up with Marinelli. Marinelli gets in and locks in behind Joseph and gets the takedown. The lead is 7-5 for Vincenzo Joseph. Down to nine seconds left. Marinelli coming out in front of Joseph, twerking down on the head. We get the action stopped. Referee Matt Sorchinski says that is a potentially dangerous. 7-5. Joseph with the lead. 5.4 seconds left here in the third. Joseph is set underneath. Marinelli on the right elbow. Marinelli out on the right side. Joseph stays in good position. Vincenzo Joseph wins it 7-5. And the Nittany Lions lead this school meet 14-10 here in Iowa City.